When progress progressed to the wild, wild west, all that history had to go somewhere. But Dallas's Old City Park isn't just a collection of old buildings. Oh no, it's, it's haunted. Peggy Helmick Richardson has given a lot of tours here and says she may have not believed in ghosts if she hadn't seen them herself. One day, alone, inside the Miller Moore Mansion, with only one way in and out, and the doors locked, Peggy saw a woman in a brown dress. She would have been about right here. Go up the stairs. Just kind of glided up. So I get up, go up the stairs, and there was nobody there. Several others, credible people, Peggy says, have seen the same woman, likely the wife of the home's namesake, William Brown Miller. Two volunteers, a man and young woman, even felt her while taking a promotional photo in this doorway. All of a sudden, the two of them were pushed forcefully apart. Presumably because men and women shouldn't stand so close. Right. But Peggy says the ghost she knows best resides in the Sullivan house. And this gentleman right here is Mr. Sullivan. Multiple times while waiting on visitors, she sat quietly when from the opposite end of the hall her silence was interrupted there'd be a knock on the door and then there'd be a pounding on the door so hard that every time i ran back there nobody was there and it happened at least a half a dozen times and at least half a dozen other buildings here have similar stories in these buildings there is a lot of attachment Old City Park, where the past is always present. In Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy.